So, now, put your Raspberry Pi's SD card, take it out of your Raspberry Pi, and insert it into your laptop, desktop, or whatever has an SD card slot, or if you're using a USB to SD card um, converter, then that's fine. Now what we're going to need to do is open up a file manager, just like this one, on Windows, and we need to find what our, our SD card on it. So here's my SD card, it's in Drive Z, and what you're going to see is 55, about 55 megabytes of files. Now you'd be wondering, why, why do I only have 55 megabytes of files if I've got a 16 gig, 32 gig, 8 gig um, SD card? Well, it's because your SD card is made out of loads of little partitions, and there are certain partitions that Windows, in this case, can and cannot read. Windows can only read certain partitions that are in a FAT format, and uh, if you, that's why I said if you've got a Linux machine, it's even better because then it can read all of the partitions because it's Linux. And um, so don't worry if it says only 55 megabytes of space. What you're going to need to look for now is this file here. It's a little text document that's about two kilobytes big, and it's called config. So double click on that, and if it says what do you want to open this program with, open it in Notepad. Now what you're going to see is quite a bit of text, really similar to this, so lots. And from config, you can change lots of things that you can change in the configuration menu on your Raspberry Pi. You can change your overclock, keyboard layout. You can change your um, whether you want to force it to look at HDMI only. But what we're looking for is um, how much we're going to overclock it. Now, what you're going to have, sadly though, you're not going to get like that blue menu that we saw on the Raspberry Pi. You're going to have to do this manually. So we need to find out certain things. So the arm frequency, this one here, is set to 900 megahertz here. And arm frequency is the CPU speed. So, if you decrease that to about 800 megahertz, if it's still not working, then if we scroll along a bit, we're going to see the call frequency here. And that that one. Change that number depending on how fast you want your GPU, GPU speed to go. Oops. And then we scroll along a little bit further. We're going to see the SDRAM frequency. And that's just the RAM, as I said before, and that's 450. So again, if you want to decrease that, decrease that number. And then we're also going to see the over voltage. So this is 2, and if you want to decrease, increase, etc, etc, etc. So you're going to get more options here. So possibly I've pushed my Raspberry Pi all the way up to 1200 MHz, 1.2 gigahertz, and, um, and that was stable for a few hours. And so that's how to change it on a Windows PC. And that's basically how to overclock your Pi. Once you've finished doing this, save the, the, the file and put it back into your Pi and boot it up. It still doesn't work. Come back on here. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please watch my other tutorials. Uh, if, you, if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, really, I'm open to all ideas. Or if you have any questions or projects that you're doing, that please notify me. I'm really interested in everything. And uh, just email me at the Raspberry Pi Guy at gmail.com. I'll be I'll be sure to answer your emails. And um, I, this is the the video tutorial for my Magpie article, as I've said, which is going to be in the next issue of the Magpie, which I believe will be the um, November one. Yes, I believe it'll be the November one. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Keep watching all my other tutorials. Please subscribe and tell your friends about my videos. Thanks.